Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how you can create a deep dream video using your own images. So the end result will look similar to the video playing the background right now. And yeah, I'd say like, let's get started right away. So uh, first of all, I'll need to give credit to Magnus Peterson and Harrison Kinsley. And these are the ones who basically coded the yeah, the whole basic of this program and what I did was uh, basically just creating an application layer for their code. So I linked both of their pages uh, into uh, my readme file on the GitHub, GitHub repository. So in case you're interested in reading through the details of the underlying convolutional neural network, uh, you can go to the linked pages. Uh, what we'll need for my tutorial, so basically we only have three prerequisites. Um, the first one would be Python 3.66 and again I included the link where you can download it into the readme file and when you get to the page you basically only have to make sure that you don't get the latest version with the 3.7 but you get an older version 3.66 which is supported by TensorFlow. So you just click on download right here and then go ahead. The second prerequisite would be to install Git. So you're able to clone the repository. And the third prerequisite would be the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015. And this is something also uh, TensorFlow is using. So first time, uh, I mean, probably you already installed it, but I was trying it on a virtual machine and it didn't have it, and so TensorFlow was giving me an error. So once you have these three things installed, uh, we can start cloning the repository. So first thing I'm going to do is to create a new folder for the repository. And there I'm going to download the or to, to clone the repository. And for that you can go here, copy the link and paste it in here. It's working. Like that. And then go ahead and download the repository. Yeah, that's already it. It should start every second. And here we go. Okay, uh, after the repository is downloaded, you need to install all the dependencies for the project. And for that, I included a requirements txt file. And you can find it in uh, one window. The following folder, so the dream folder. And if you look here, I included two files. One is if your computer is using a GPU and yeah, it's it's way faster using a GPU. So if you have one, I would highly recommend to install the TensorFlow GPU version, which is included in the requirements uh, GPU TXT. And if you don't have a GPU like me, unfortunately, you're gonna have to use the CPU version, which is way slower, but it will work anyway and give you great results. So to install all the requirements, all you need to do is to pip install and then you specify the requirements file. And in my case, it should already have all the requirements. Okay, and you should obviously spell install right. So I was missing an end here, like that. And you should check the requirements, but they should be fine. Okay, so he already got everything. So uh, next thing, and now we're already getting to the exciting part, is uh, where you're gonna check which images you want to use for your dream. So what I basically did is to combine two dreams and I blend them together in the middle of it. So you can choose two of your own images. And if I go to the folder where I downloaded the repository, so, which would be the users and the git project. We go to the deep dream and in here 
you will find one folder called dream images. You can go in here and I already created two example folders for, yeah, the basic two dreams. So what you, what you need to do is to pick your own images and I would recommend to rescale them unless you have a, a really good GPU. So I'm using them in a resolution of, let's see, I think it's 800. Oh, let's just check. Yeah, 800 times 450. So this is something also a CPU version can handle if you let it run for, yeah, like let's say a day. And so, yeah, you should basically start small and then increase the image size as soon as you find some settings you like. So what you're going to do when you have the two files you like is to copy them into the folder and rename them called img uh, underscore zero dot uh, jpg. And you do this for the first as well as the second dream. And that's already it. So these will be the images uh, the program is using as the uh, yeah, start image for the deep dream. So the net next thing you can do is to configure all the other settings from the dream. So if you look into the downloaded repository, you will find one file called uh, deepdream.py. And if you open it in a text editor, you can see the actual code. So this is the, the main program that we're gonna run. And up here, and again, this is nothing I came up with myself. This was, uh, most of the work was already done by uh, Harrison and he yeah he did a really good job so I would encourage you if you're really into it to check out the tutorials of them as well and so if you go back to uh, back to my code so first thing we're gonna do is to uh, set some general settings so this would be the path so the relative path where the dream image folder is located if you haven't changed anything with the downloaded repository uh, this would stay the same then you can choose the layers the uh, network should use and there again i can refer you to the comment up here and here you can see what these layers basically represent and yeah what i found my most interesting were the layers 6 10 and 3 uh, next thing would be the iteration, step size, rescale factor, repeats and blends. So if you're not sure which will, uh, which settings you should take, uh, you can basically leave them at default first and then try out uh, one specific parameter. And best way I found to do this was to create a single dream image. And if you want to do that, you can use this uh, code I commented out here and this will only create a single image using the dream image function and in case you want to uh, make a video you can go ahead to the create a dream video section and here you have some more settings for your video so first of all is how many frames per second it should have and then it's getting interesting and you might need to change it if you created some new folder in the dream image path here, you will have to copy the name into these two variables. Um, the next variable is how long it will take for each layer. So I, uh, yeah, the basic setting would be to do it for three seconds for each layer. So it would be like three times 30 frames. So the, um, yeah, the, the program would create 90 frames per layer. And yeah, then again, some, some more settings you can tweak with if you like, if you don't want, and you can basically just go with the standard settings and they will work just fine. And yeah, that's basically it. So uh, to recap, these are probably the two folders you, you might need to change. So just copy the folder names in there and then you're already ready to go. So to execute the problem, uh, the, the, the program, all you need to do is go back to your path and execute the, no, not the dream frames, but the deep dream py. And then just hit enter and it should start, yeah, creating the images. So 
this will take quite a while on my machine and I'm probably gonna abort it uh, yeah, since I don't have enough computation power but uh, if you run it on your machine and you go into the dream images folder it should start with the first one and as soon as the program starts you will see some more images popping up here and the next thing he's gonna do is to blend the last images and also create some frames for that and after this is done the program will automatically get all the dream images and all the blend images combine them into a video and then you have one folder called final videos and in here you will find your result as soon as it's done so you can yeah just keep looking at the the console window in your case it should way, uh, work way faster than in my case so um, okay this is this is nice to to mention as well so i didn't include the uh, uh, inception model uh, that was trained by google into my repository so when first time you start it it will check whether the the model is there or not if it's not there it will start the download and put it into the inception folder right here so this is what he just downloaded and after this is done the the actual program will start yeah and that's already it so uh, just let the program run for a while uh, after it's done it will prompt you a console message saying successfully finished and then you can go ahead into the final videos folder and check out your yeah your own deep dream video so Thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions for improvement or any other comments, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.